Yeah, hi, Glue, and this is Michael from BetterTofelScores.com. So thank you for um, uh, practicing uh, the integrated writing task at my site where we have the seven-step system to pass a TOEFL test. Now let's take a look at what you've written here. And I think that your question in the email is, is you want to know if you're organizing your writing uh, according to the uh, demands of the uh, TOEFL integrated writing task. So, so far you have, it looks like, you have paragraph one here, you have paragraph two here. The first paragraph you're discussing about the important points in the reading passage. And in the second paragraph, you're discussing the important points of the lecture. I think you're missing something here. You don't have the whole picture. Now, it looks like that your reading passage, it says that uh, humans and other mammals can be altruistic. And then in the uh, second paragraph, you said the speaker, on the other hand, suggests that the guard, the Mercot guard, is not so altruistic. So I think what you're saying is, is the information in the lecture, it disagrees with the important point discussed in the reading passage. So my suggestion for you is to, to really integrate, and that's what the TOEFL Integrated Writing Task is. It means to combine the information from the lecture and the reading. You need to have an introductory paragraph that will include, I think, the two important topics from both sources. So what I'm saying is, is you actually need a third paragraph, I think, before you get to the reading passage, you might say something like this. You might say, the main idea in the reading passage discusses an important concept called altruism as it relates to humans and other mammals, whereas the information in the lecture disagrees with the concept of altruism, particularly as it applies to humans and other mammals. So I, I think that you need that introductory idea that will kind of set up that the two sources don't agree, that there's some disagreement in the lecture. Now, I don't know the reading passage that you're using here, and I didn't hear this lecture, but assuming that you have the main point of the reading passage, you, you've included the most important supporting points, and assuming the same thing for the lecture, I think you should be able to get a pretty good score so long as you include that introductory information which precedes the two paragraphs. Now, I might modify your topic sentence in paragraph one. Instead of saying the reading passage suggests that other humans and mammals can be altruistic, you might say, first of all, the, the topic of the reading passage is altruism or something. But then when you get to the second topic, the second paragraph, you say, on the other hand, the speaker in the lecture disagrees with this concept of altruism, and particularly as it applies to, say, humans and other mammals. And then the rest of it's in pretty good shape. So I, I think just consider including that introductory, introductory paragraph, which kind of sets the purpose of the essay, and as far as I can tell, it looks like you're integrating quite well the information. I think in the second paragraph, you're showing how the lecture is different from the information that, that was presented uh, in the reading passage, and that's good. Does that make sense? In, in terms of your grammar and so on, it looks pretty good. It looks like you're using the present tense to paraphrase and summarize the information, I think, which is good. And you want to make sure, again, I don't have the reading passage you're using, but make sure that you don't copy directly word for word. And that will definitely give you a very, very low score on the integrated writing task. Anyway, so does that make sense? So how would you score right now? Uh, probably, I, I think overall you're probably looking at maybe a score 3.5, maybe out of 5. You're probably looking maybe... 20 to 22 points out of 30 right now based on, on what you have. That's assuming that you have gotten the most important points from the reading and the most important points from the lecture.